What up, Airsofters, today? Uh, I'm over here at the uh, Rifle 1 class with John Lovell, and basically this is John Lovell right here, and I, I'm having a blast right now, and also I had I learned a lot. Cool, man. Good, good. Glad for it. Uh, what, what does Warrior Poet mean? Sure, yeah, so Warrior Poet Society is just a, kind of a movement. I've got a YouTube channel as well. It's Warrior Poet Society, and the idea is we're lovers of people, uh, we care about people, and so uh, to that end, we desire to be good protectors. We're not just a bunch of knuckle dragon yeah. idiot kind of things. We're folks that uh, really invest in the art of war. It, it, it's intelligence is valued with warrior poets. It's also heart set. We love people. We, we care to actually defend them. No more dead bodies near, you know, on my watch. I want to be able to protect people and kill bad guys first. Uh, so uh, that's kind of the, the balance between warrior and the poet thing. I want to be a good dad and a, and a, and a good husband and a good gunfighter. It's the whole package. So that's kind of warrior poet mentality. Sounds good. Uh, how, how can you switch from airsoft to real steel? Uh, sure, so uh, first off, just kind of like a good praise, some of you kids running out playing milsim and airsoft stuff, uh, that can be some really good training. Good job. There's a lot of parallels that I can actually use that and bring you into fighting. It's actually only going to get you so far. So if you want to jump in and and uh, take it to the next level and think about really working through the, the fear and the real world tactics of defeating an enemy, some of that stuff you're already wading into. So I commend you guys for really getting out there and training. I think there's some good value in that. Uh, however, at the same time, getting out and uh, you already yeah. saw, I mean, I know you can just kill it on an airsoft rifle but yeah. when we went but real you, yeah it's kind of different right it's yeah, the man. recoil and now, i'm the, grabbing brian yeah. i'm like get aggressive yeah. in that girl now kill him you know uh, and but we're, yeah. we're having to uh, do a good bit to adjust your airsoft platform to adjust for uh shooting yeah uh, making sure you're not yeah, anticipating shots or anything like that yeah, like and you getting said, good aggressive and good aggressive uh, posture so uh yeah so anyway uh, keep rocking out with what you're doing and take some uh, take some classes for uh, rifle, pistol, some tactics classes as well, and uh, yeah, it'll be good to go. Good. If you're ever interested in uh, checking out John Lovell's uh, 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 YouTube page, it's down in the description, as well as some of the clips that I'm about to show you right now. So we'll go to the right of that right now. Thanks, bud. All right. Cool. Yeah. putting your finger too deep in the trigger well. Cause I'm seeing it. Ready? Up. All right, go and dry. And if I have to push you forward or fix that butt stock, I'm gonna knock you out. Here we go. Your body armor is forcing this in your shoulder rather than the, butt, um, than the uh, pocket of your shoulder, and there's not much you can do about that. I like uh, so in selecting body armor for me, I like something that doesn't have this big gaping pad here because my rifle slips off. I like something that's as thin as a shirt if I can get it. Real, real thin. I run that Pharaoh Slickster all the time because of that. Uh, the cry stuff is really good. The blue force gear stuff, real good. Uh, this is fine too, yeah. but you can't, you don't have a pocket of your shoulder yeah, anymore. Sure. And so you just do the best you can. All right, let's go live. Here we go. And that's way too low in your shoulder. That's, uh, that's your armpit. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Stand by. 45 degrees. Oh. Degrees. Stand by.
579, weapon on safe. We got a new king of the mountain. 679 is leading the day so far. 679 is leading the day. All right, next shooter. .76. One more and I'm just going to kind of go for it. And, oh. .77. I couldn't, I couldn't go for it. I slowed down. I'm like, I got to make the hit. <laughs> what? Truly. I'm going to... .77. That's about as fast as I can go and get a hit. Now, if you ever get in a gunfight, anybody ever shoots at you, what's the very first thing you're going to do? Win. Crap. Gotcha. <laughs> Guarantee. Oh, yeah. gotcha. No matter who you are or what you've trained, step one is to say, oh my God, <laughs> and lower your level. Uh, in my philosophy is you might as well go there anyway. And I'm getting aggressive, posturing forward, getting a little bit lower, hunkering down into something that can uh, manage recoil real well, and I'm ready to lay waste. It should feel a little bit hand-to-hand -hand fighting, more than precision. This is my philosophy on how to fight with a carbine, meaning other people won't like it. Some folks will be like, dude, it's just a little AR. It doesn't kick that bad. And I'm like, I know, but what if I pick up a shotgun? Do I need a new stance for that? And when somebody shoots at me, I'm gonna get lower anyway. Consistency. And so for consistency, what that means right here is I'm mounting the rifle in the exact same place the shoulder every time. My arms are generally in the same place every time. My length of pull, same every single time. And my cheek hits my rifle in the same spot every time. So my eye is looking through it the exact same way every time. But shooting that little circle right there at this distance repeatedly for fire, that's a that's a little bit more of a challenge. The bigger silhouettes, not as much, but still, being able to hold and then interact, and you guys are going to be shooting and running and gunning as well soon, but just standing, being able to do that, that's a good test of recoil management. It's a good test of your fundamentals. If your fundamentals are off, your eight dot may be on it just fine, but then when you shoot, it goes down and left, and you don't know why, right? .79, a little bit quicker. Let me just uh, do one more kind of 80% and then I'll go 100% and see what I can do. Rock and roll, here we go. Okay, I was kind of hustling a little bit. 